hey guys welcome back so the first things that we have seen right like on the first part i will not just say day i will just say part right the first part that we have seen about the basic of robot framework right what is the use of it right and how you achieve the ATD and RPA and what is the difference between the robot framework and the selenium framework okay and this is the official website you can get all the information like documentation how to use it user guide and everything you will be uh, you can see over here right step by step installation guide as well and what how you need to install python and all those things you can find everything over here if you are learning from scratch right but we will see all the things in detail in this particular series as well okay so now let's we just say is part two okay so second part i will just say is what are the different softwares required right to work with robot framework with python okay so this is our basic now as you know right we are going to use the python language so first things we need to install python and it is very easy guys so just go to google and just says download python for windows right just go to and just go to this website i'm going to copy this website over here in our this particular chat okay so this is the url you normally go and download this python uh, setup i have already downloaded and installed the python you see this is the setup it will look like and it's it is pretty much very easy just double click on that one and go to next 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 and install the python okay but now you need to make sure once you install the python right you need to make sure if it is installed correctly or not so for that what you can do you can go to the your command prompt right and type two things Okay, so I'm just opening the CMD and I'm just gonna just say uh, Python hyphen hyphen version. Okay, Python hyphen hyphen version. So it is showing me the Python version, right? Now, when you install the Python, right, guys, there is another thing pip. Pip will also get installed, and that will help the pip will help you to do the all other installation in Python, right? And what is pip stand for python right you can just say preferred installer program so if somebody says what is pip right you must be hearing the word pip but what is pip so it's preferred installer program okay and that will help to install the things in python okay so you can also make sure once you install this python by this exe the setup right which you have downloaded you need to also make sure that pip has installed or not right so what you can do you can just say pip hyphen hyphen version right and just hit enter so you can see the pip has also installed in this location so now you are good and this is pip version okay now so what things we have to make sure install pip and verify whenever you do any installation guys right always make sure you you cross verify it so pip will also get installed with that one then to work on any programming language right we need an ide right we know we know the eclipse right when we are working mostly on java selenium right we use eclipse but now we are working on python and i will prefer to use pycharm okay which is available free of cost right the commodity version is available for free of cost so you can use it right but before pycharm few more things we can do from our command prompt itself okay so what we can do we know we have installed python pip now we need to install the robot framework using the pip right so install robot framework and how you can do that things in command prompt there is a command it's pip install very simple robot framework right if you hit this command pip install robot framework over here right let me just write it down I have already installed this one but let's see what happened install robot framework hit enter right so it will see it is just showing me this is already satisfied the robot framework is already available with me but if you type this command right if you do not have the installation you can see it over here right and once you will install anything how you can cross verify 
to cross verify we have another command right pip show robot framework okay so this is the command we're gonna use pip show robot framework okay guys so what i can do pip show robot framework okay and hit enter so let's wait and yep it is showing me the framework name the version and other information about the who is the author right so all this information it is showing to me so now it just says robot framework has been installed right so one two three things is installed now we require four things right it's install robot framework selenium library okay this is also we need to install guys uh, once you install the python right because with the python you will only get pip these two things you need to install robot framework and robot framework library again for that one we have very simple command you can easily go and command prompt and just type pip install robot framework hyphen selenium library okay this is this one so i'm going to type this same thing i have already installed but let's we try so pip robot sorry pip install robot framework selenium library and hit enter very simple guys right and you see if it is not installed it will start updating and it will take like two or three seconds not more than that and it will show you the result that everything has been installed successfully okay now once everything is installed right how you can verify so there is one more command it's just simple pip list right if you just type this command you can see whatever the things has been installed by pip for this particular uh, uh framework okay so it just says robot framework is installed robot framework code is installed then selenium library is installed then selenium is installed so i think when you install the selenium library guys right selenium also get installed by default okay so this is something like we have pom.xml right where we put the dependency and things got installed so this is how you need to make sure that everything is installed correctly or not so let me also put this one to see list of all software install pip dot no sorry pip and list okay so that's all and at the last what you can do you can just install pycharm as a ide for python to do all the automation right for java we normally use eclipse or intellij right and we do the automation programming but over here we are using the python so that is a good exposure to know how to use PyCharm and how you can create the project and all those things. Okay, guys. So this is what you required. These are the prerequisite and how you can install the PyCharm. Let me just show you that part as well. So download PyCharm for Python. Go to the JetBeans because it is from the JetBeans, right? So it has two version. Okay, guys. The professional version is paid right you have to pay for that and this is community version so it's fine to download the community version and you see this is how it will look like based on the month and year you are downloading and once you will double click on that one it is again pretty much straightforward uh, to install go next 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 and once it is installed you just do one thing just restart your machine so you just make sure everything is installed and you have restarted your machine okay so this is all about the basic of selenium that we have Sel uh, sorry basic of robot framework we have seen then what software is required to do the robot framework with python so make sure before you go to the next right where we are going to actually see folder structure how you can create the things and all those things you always make sure you have this software installed okay now let me also show you one more thing right when you install this is the challenge like i am creating this video in 2024 right first of uh, 11th of january but when i was downloading these things when i was configuring these things there is one challenge i face right guys so that challenge i will uh, show you in the next session right when we actually open the pycharm and we will create our first project okay but that part we will cover later yeah thank you for watching this video